church I lead Nearly an acre sits under these here beams Where would I be if I would have been called to his team And realized the dream, what if I fell for the scheme Now I might have been balling, big money hauling But the missus calling, I'd be miserably free falling Spiritually flat and stalling Honestly, I pause the thought is so appalling To be stuck where I was back when I was 19 Before he made me clean Without Christ I'd be using with greed Still be a grown boy like Charlie Sheen Praying a dude gets free And take heed to his grace I know without Christ my life would be a waste Never would have been able to experience a taste Of his kingdom on earth And witness the birth of crossover and elements Do y'all know what you were? How would I live? How would I Where would I be if it wasn't for God's grace in my life? Well, I know I definitely wouldn't be on this roof praying for this conference in this building. See, many years ago, this place was built to be a toy store. But even back then, God knew as the workers were working on this building that it was gonna be used for something so much greater down the road, to be a house of worship, a house of prayer, a house of discipleship, a place where outreach happens, that it would be a church. God knew that. And if you would have walked me through the aisles of this Toys R Us 10 years ago, past the Transformers, past the video games, past the Elmo dolls, and you would have said, this is gonna be the future home of Crossover Church, I would have looked at you and said, you are crazy. But then if you would have talked to me about five years before that and just even told me that I was gonna be a pastor of a church, and a church of this size, like this, I would have really said, yo, you are absolutely crazy. You're tripping, leave me alone. But you know what? God knew all that. Why? Because I was born for this. God knows you, the exact plans he has for your life. He knows what we're born for. Some of you guys might be familiar with the scripture from Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter one, the Lord said this to Jeremiah. He said, I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart. And see, this isn't just for Jeremiah, but this is for you and for me. God specifically set us apart to create, cultivate, and complete some things for His glory. Not for us, but for Him. And so some of you are here this weekend at Flavor Fest 14. God knew you would be here, and, and you're in this process still of starting some things creating some things. Maybe you haven't fully gotten there yet. And then there's some of you that you're in the middle of developing it and cultivating and learn to balance it. And it's this beautiful struggle. And then there's some of you that have completed some great, amazing works for God, some great ministry, some great works of art for Him. But yet God has some new things on the horizon for you. So my prayer is, as you're here at Flavor Fest 14 and, and the prayer of our leadership team at Crossover Church is that you'll discover some new things this weekend. You'll develop in some new ways. You'll be challenged, you'll be encouraged, you'll be inspired to dream. And that you'll also, that you'll enjoy yourself, that you'll be able to breathe, everybody breathe, and have fun. Because sometimes we're so busy and we're so caught up in urban ministry and it's stressful, but breathe and have fun this weekend because you're not alone and you're here with hundreds of other crazy urban leaders that are just like you, that are creating, cultivating, and completing some things for God's glory in the urban context. So Flavor Fest family, welcome to our 14th annual conference. You were born for this.